Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and this is my Entertainment Rundown. I want to talk to you about a movie called Bennett's War. This is a film about a guy who fought in Afghanistan, he was injured in service, comes home, uh, he has a wife and a child, he, he lives with his father, played by Trace Atkins at the family farm. His father's having difficulty keep holding on to the farm, so the, the guy, Matthew, played by Michael Rourke, decides that he will go back to his old days of glory when he was a motocross racer. Now, I know nothing about motocross racing. I just went with the flow on this one. But his wife is upset. She's played by Allison Page. She's upset because he had this injury. It was to his left leg, and she's afraid if he has a crash or anything that he'll be paralyzed. But, of course, you got to save the family farm, so what do you do? You do what you have to do, and that's what he does. And this Michael Rourke, I'd never seen him in a movie, but he's a pretty good leading man. He's believable in the part, kind of the strong, silent type. Trace Adkins, who is making a lot of movies these days. I haven't even seen a new, uh, any new music out of him in the country western uh, genre. But he, you know, is kind of rough and you know, plays the, the father who doesn't want charity from anybody, doesn't want his son to feel obligated. So he fills that role completely. There's a guy named Ali Afshar who plays Matthew's best friend. He has a, you know, a cycle shop doing repairs, whatever, where Matthew works. And he's kind of the comic interest in the film. So he adds a little bit to it. But... The movie is just your average movie. You can almost write the script, you know, from the moment you sit down in the theater and you get the basics there, you can say, oh, I bet you I know what's going to happen. And there it will go. This film is rated PG-13 for violence and profanity. I scored it 5 out of 10. You know, it's just an average movie, folks. You know, if, you, if you're into motocross racing, you know, that type of thing, then you might want to see it, or you might want to wait for it to come out on DVD. But it's it's not a complete waste of time, I guess is what I'm saying. If a movie is average, then you, you sit there and, and you enjoy it for what it's worth, and then you forget all about it when you leave the theater. Another movie that came out this weekend is called Seaside. And it's not rated, but I would give it an R for profanity, violence, and nudity. But it's about a young woman who you know, has a boyfriend. They don't get ma are putting off marriage because his father is ill. His father's very wealthy. He dies and leaves everything to basically his future grandchildren. But he does leave his son a seaside cottage. He's you know on the west coast somewhere, and it's you know it's there. Uh, he spent summers there, and so he and his girlfriend head off to this cottage to see, you know, for her to see what it's like. She finds it, uh, you know, she's kind of impressed, and they're planning their wedding, but then there's some things that go wrong, uh, one of which is an old girlfriend who is played by Stephanie Lee, and the, the main girl is played by Ariana DeBose. I never heard of either of them. And the guy, you know, uh, in the middle is played by Matt, Matt Shingledecker. Matt Shingledecker, that has to be the worst name for an actor I've ever heard. I mean, how do they put that up on a marquee? But Matt Shingledecker, it is. But the old girlfriend, when they go back to the cottage that he's inherited, she shows up, there's conflict, etc., etc., etc. So, you know, you just expect it to go from there. But this just never had anything really special about it. The acting is, is pretty good, especially, especially by Ariana DeBose. She's, she's good. She looks like she could find, you know, other roles that, that might lead her to have a career. Matt Shingledecker and Stephanie Lee, not so much. But there is a performance by Sharon Washington who plays Ariana DeBose's mother, and she stands out in the cast. She's really a bright spot there. But 
The film, like I said, not rated, but I'd give it an R for profanity, violence, and nudity. I scored it three out of ten. You know, mm, couldn't couldn't even get it up to a four or a five. This was a three, so don't waste too much time searching for this one. But those are my two movies for today. That's been my entertainment rundown. Reach down and hit that subscribe button, if you will, and become a subscriber. But for now, this has been Jackie K. Cooper's Entertainment Rundown.